surprise everybody I haven't been on this and god it was how long anyway um, I know I didn't announce it um, so I'm just gonna go so a common theme that I have been seeing not only with myself but also with my clients um, is anger um, so if you're anything like me or were raised in a household where anger was displayed in one of two ways um, either violently explosively or you just weren't allowed to feel it as a kid you were only allowed to feel those you know those feel good you were allowed to be sad and cry um, but you heard a lot of no te enojes. We were teased when we, we used to get mad. Pero, pero no te enojes. Ya no chespirito. Anyway, I was raised in a Mexican household. But um, anger was not a, a common feeling. Um, at least it wasn't for me. Um, I had a conversation with my brother, my older brother James. And uh, we, we had a discussion, and he was very familiar with anger. I think it's a more common feeling amongst men than it is for women. Um, but it is a theme that has been showing up for a lot of, a lot of my clients. So I figured I'd, I'd come on and kind of share my two cents, because it is something that, uh, as an adult, I don't know what to do with it, or I hadn't known what to do with it. And it can get interesting um, just because I know how to channel other emotions. I know what to do with this, them. Like I knew what to do with sadness. I knew what to do with heartache. I knew how to move it through my body. Um, I can think of, of a few really emotionally disturbing times that I've been really, really angry. Um, but for the most part, anger is one of those very uncomfortable feelings that doesn't simmer in me for long, and um, it takes a long time. I'm usually, it takes a lot. I'm very frustrated. Frustration is more my thing, um, and then I cry because I'm frustrated. Before the anger takes over. Um, well, my brother was telling me how anger for him, he channeled it and he expressed it through, through sports, through soccer, through basketball. But it wasn't just playing the sport and taking his aggression out on people. It was being able to, you know, use his ankle to kick the ball but with a very directed force or shoot the ball and use his, his, his wrist and snap. Um, so it just kind of reminded me of like in hip hop when you were popping. Um, and I have noticed that the times I have been upset while learning a choreography, it's the times where I've been able to learn it the fastest. Um, so it's definitely something that I'll be implementing but anger has been making itself known to me these past few weeks um, nothing in particular just uh, the old me has been making a, an appearance and um, some people have from my past have also been making a, an appearance and where a year ago I pretty much told them to F off um, this time was different last time the triggers were far too sensitive where I just knew myself and rather get upset and work through my triggers of anger knowing that I was going to take it out on them knowing that I just didn't have the patience for it I just told them F off that I didn't have the patience to work through my triggers while being friends with them um, this person happened to show back up and Two things about me, if you don't know already know. Don't mess with my close family and friends, and don't mess with my money. 
This person just so happens to owe money. So, it's not a small amount. Anyway. So that was part of the game. Um, this time they reached back out and I was like, oh, they must miss me. <laughs> what a little thing to say. Anyway. Um, and I noticed that my response to them was definitely different. I first I checked them and I said, oh, you know, since you reached out, that must mean you have my money. They did not. And then they tried to get smart with me. Instead of lashing out, I I wanted to have a conversation with them because I knew that my a lot of people tend to not catch my tone when I respond through messages. And this happened on my team also. I come off as disrespectful and it's never my intention to come off as disrespectful I'm just very blunt and very uh, straight to the point and apparently my raw honesty can come off as disrespectful and again I don't mean it um, but I've been called out several times within the last month um, about being disrespectful and like I said I don't mean it um, and it triggers me because um, I could see why they're saying I'm being disrespectful, but I'm not. At least I don't think so. Anyway, so I decided to have a conversation with this person and I asked them why they're playing stupid. And knowing very dang well what they owe me and what they owe me for, and I'm holding them accountable to their word. Um, mind you, some time has passed by. Um, and I did state that rather than to tell them to F off again, I'm going to work through my triggers um, while we can attempt to be friends or not even be friends, acquaintances, because I don't, I don't, I don't care to establish a relationship with this person like I did previously. Um, and this person has not changed. They still make me laugh a lot. So um, it was, it was nice to kind of remind myself why why I did keep in contact with them previously or why I even was interested in a friendship with them previously because they make me laugh um, this, the, the stuff that comes out of this person's mouth is hilarious and hysterical and, and most people would not appreciate it I have very dark humor and um, yeah so uh, and it just this person makes me laugh so I noticed that I responded differently rather than to be very angry like I was last time. I responded differently and that is what a lot of people are experiencing. They're, a lot of my clients are experiencing people from their past triggering them or their own partners triggering them. So one of the exercises that I recently channeled was uh, to write down all your triggers way this works is write down all those things that this person says or does you're just gonna write them out you know this person calls me a bitch this person says I remind them of their mom this person um, says I'm lazy this person you know and just write them all out and then you go back and you revisit the trigger and you go back to where it originates from because your trigger does not originate with that person the trigger originates from previous to that person. All that person is doing is reminding you where it comes from. So, you go back and let's just say we'll go to the bitch one. Now we'll go to the lazy one. You go back and you go to the first time you were ever called lazy. And you gotta kind of think about it. And, uh, and I remember my mom calling us lazy. It's five of us. And, uh, and she would get home from work and she would do a scan of the house. And if something wasn't picked up or the dishes weren't washed, we were all lazy. Not one of us, all of us. All of us were lazy. Um, and she wouldn't use those words either. She would use other choice words, but it's the most equivalent that I can think of right now. Um, so that's the trigger. And here's the thing about triggers is 
the minute you no longer associate with those triggers, they're not going to hurt you anymore. So if you can give an itch and you can go into the Rolodex of your memories and give an itch and say, where in my life am I lazy? Where does this and why does this, why do I associate with it? And I go in and I can tell you, I may not be lazy. I'm, I'm very I'm hardworking. Actually, I don't work hard. I work, I work smart. But for sake of words, um, I can I can be lazy. I can be messy. I can be slow to move, especially when it comes to cleaning. Uh, I don't like cleaning. I've uh, when I used to work in the mortgage industry, I, I had someone who used to come in clean my place twice a month, sometimes once a week. I used to have a meal prep service. So other people can look at that and say, that's lazy. I like to change it and look at it as effective, <laughs> as um, being practical. However, I can see where other people may say it's lazy. So once I can identify where others may think it's lazy and where I can say it's lazy, when somebody calls me lazy, and I give an inch, that trigger no longer is going to affect me. So if you can go down your line of triggers and actually give an inch and see where it is that you're resonating with it and see that that trigger doesn't come from the person that's actually sending it to you or giving it to you, you're gonna find that you're gonna get angry a lot less. And that these frustrations anger that you're feeling, you're going to realize that they're doing you a favor by allowing you to see what's still hidden beneath the hurt um, and beneath the time that we've just kind of let things fall under the rug. So to not make this uh, live that I've, gosh, I've just postponed just because uh, one of my things is perfection. I like things to be perfect. I let the Virgo rising in me be vain to like to look a certain way. Um, I've been very exhausted with all of the changes that I've been going through. Um, I haven't felt myself for a very long time. That's why you haven't seen my face. So I just said F it. I learned about a five second rule. Um, that if you have an idea and you don't act on it within the first five seconds, your mind will do this very uh, messed up thing, which is to convince you out of it. So here I am five seconds in and then I see my face. I'm like, oh my God, I look like, you know, not myself. But here I am sharing a vulnerable moment with you guys. I hope you guys appreciate it. Share and like this video. Um, and I hope to get you guys' support. Let me know what you guys want me talking about. I just thought I'd share this moment in a small process. Um, and I hope it helps you guys. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, and I need to be invited to these conversations. If not, you guys won't see me around. Uh, it's something that I've also learned about myself. I kind of feel like... Um, because you guys don't request or ask, I feel like you guys don't want to hear from me. So that's why I've also laid low. So if you guys have something, um, message me and I will get on it. And I'll give myself the five second rule, regardless of what I might look like. Um, I really don't like doing these moving, but apparently I had to move this while I'm driving. So it's all good. Enjoyed this, and I will see you guys hopefully soon.